uh, three, three hours and, and 30 minutes, uh, we filled the tanks with hydrogen peroxide, and this took 20 minutes. Then at minus three minutes, ten, three hours, ten minutes, sorry, we filled the tanks with liquid oxygen. Yes, this time, yes. And at minus two hours, 55, we fill it with kerosene. So all there's three different fuels that are used on the first three stages Correct. Yeah. of Soyuz. There's liquid ho oxygen, hydrogen peroxide, and kerosene. The upper stage, the fourth stage, of course, is cryogenic fuel. The people in the hall here, as we approach one minute, you'll hear the DDO call out one minute. People in the hall going out to the balconies to watch the liftoff. À tous de DDO, attention pour H0 moins une minute. Oh, we're into the final 60 seconds. We just want to mention the launch, the ignition sequence. The ignition sequence is in three stages. From minus 17 seconds, seconds, the engines are tested automatically. Yeah, and at minus 15 seconds is uh, the first control ignition at about 20% of the total thrust. And then there's a second uh, minus seven seconds, uh, intermediate pressure check. There you see the arms falling away. That's, an, that's always an exciting thing for me to see the arms fall away. And then at minus three seconds, the order is given for the third and final phase, full throttle. The DDO is going to call up. The final countdown will be back after Soyuz has cleared the tower. Enjoy the liftoff, everybody. Attention for the décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7. Once again, from French Guiana, beginning her 13th mission from the spaceport. Sylvain, what went through your mind as you watched uh, oh, it's, it's very thrilling, as always. <laughs> it's a very nice, uh, very nice thing to see. Quite impressive. No matter how many times you see it. Yeah, it's always the same thing, yes. Beautiful. 300 tons at liftoff. <clears throat> roaring through the sky, that's less than half the mass of Ariane 5, you recall. Those of you familiar with the Ariane 5 launches excuse me, saw Soyuz rise a lot more quickly. The boosters and the central core, or the second stage, are burning now. The boosters... Yeah, the boosters, they, they weigh um, 45 tons each at liftoff. Total mass is, uh, of the first stage is 178 tons. So the engines run on liquid oxygen and kerosene, as we said. Yeah. The same propellants which are used for each of the, the three lower stages. The second, or the core stage, is similar to the boosters. Its ignition occurred on the pad, as you saw. This stage will burn for about four minutes. We're coming up on separation of the boosters in just about ten seconds. And then you'll see, remember, Soy is lifted off. The DDO is saying everything is nominal, normal on board. We're going to see separation of the boosters in just a minute on the simulation there. There it is, right, right on time. Now remember, Soyuz weighed 300 tons at liftoff after separation of the boosters. There's the onboard camera showing them falling away into the ocean. Mm. She's down now to ha Extension how much? What does she weigh now after the boosters? Uh, less than half its weight. Eh? Less than half, yeah. yeah I think. With Soyuz, she uh, departed right on time. Soyuz you know, it uh, goes back to the first days of the space race. Yes, for sure. Yeah, yeah. She was, uh, she goes back to 1966, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, it was uh, the workhorse of the Soviet program yeah. and continues working. To Earth observation. Yeah. Right. Weather probes. Weather probes, yeah, science probes. Mars missions. She yeah. takes people to the people, ISS, exactly, the space yes. station. Yeah. There's the fairing jettison. You can see leaving exposed to the elements, the two satellites. Those are the black boxes on the end. Now, why can we, we can get rid of the fairing now? Because we don't need it anymore, right? Yeah, yes. Yes. Yeah. Go to over Europe. And then we turn east. That's right. And we go over yeah. Europe. And uh, then we will fly down over Russia and 
over the Australia, I think. The South yes, Indian the South Indian, Indian Ocean, Ocean, close to Australia, yes. You saw the second stage separated and the third stage ignited there. One particularity of the Soyuz vehicle is whereas with Ariane, we separate the lower stage before igniting the upper stage. Soyuz, it's just the opposite. The third stage is ignited two seconds before separation of the second stage. Now, the lower part of the third stage, say that again, the quote. The, the global Nav navigation satellite system yes, from Europe. Okay, correct. here's your replay. A little late, but better late than never. So he is rising right off the pad. 